episode of The Issue Is this year, so here's a look back at some of our most memorable moments of 2023. What is your big takeaway from this trip? Well, tear down the walls. We travel exclusively to China with Governor Newsom for his high-profile meetings talking climate change. The most important issue in our lives. We're in Monterey Park after a mass shooting. How do you make somebody feel better in a moment like this? By trying to do better. We visit Glendale amidst clashes over LGBTQ issues. Where's our humanity? Where's our decency? In Venice, we talk mental health reform. It's the most exciting thing I've ever been part of. At the GOP debate, we ask about his debate with Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. You're baiting him with the debate Of course. Or? I mean, why is he debating a guy who's not even running for president when he's running for president? Governor. One of our favorite journalists. With Arnold Schwarzenegger, we check out Green Tech. Face the pictures. Very nice. Work out at Gold's Gym. Ah. And observe his efforts to fight anti-Semitism and help survivors of October 7th. Schwarzenegger discussing his father, a Nazi officer in World War II. All of these guys that are helping me in America realize my dreams are mm -hmm. Jewish. Mm -hmm. I said, so you should never ever talk about Jews that way. LA Mayor Karen Bass talks her challenges. Is it fair to say the system is more effed up than you thought? <laughs> <laughs> it is absolutely fair to say that. The issue is the 2024 presidential race. Mr. President, what's your message to the people of California? It's in a lot of trouble, California. Would you like to run against Governor Newsom? I'd love it. You've known Donald Trump for a long time. Um, what do you make of him coming back? It scares the crap out of me. Biden 2024, is he too old to be doing this? Uh, I think that Joe should step aside. People get so worried about Joe Biden's age, but this is binary. It's a choice between two people. If the final choice is Trump versus Biden, right now you're undecided? I am not, I'm, I don't have a plan B. Why are you running? I'm running because some things need to be said and some things need to be done. Well, Alex said, I, I'm pro-life, I don't apologize for it. Favorite rapper of all time? Eminem, no doubt. And what's the best rap lyric of all time? Success is my only option. <laughs> <laughs> Another big issue, the fight for the House Speaker's gavel. This week, Kevin McCarthy of Bakersfield saw more ballots for Speaker of the House than anyone in over 100 years. This rule is like Kevin McCarthy dousing himself in fuel and then handing out 435 matches. You obviously worked so hard to get to the job of Speaker of the House. It wasn't easy. It took me 15 rounds. It wasn't easy. I think it made me stronger, actually. It made me better prepared. This week is the first Speaker of the House ever to be ousted by his colleagues. We were in shock. We never thought that we would come to this point. Real succinctly describe Kevin McCarthy's legacy as Speaker incredibly shrinking speakership. The issue is the U.S. Senate. This year we lost Senator Dianne Feinstein and hosted the first TV interview with her replacement. Like a month ago, could you have even imagined that you would be a United States Senator? It was not on my bingo card, Alex. Yeah. It's just great to have a partner in Senator Butler like this. Several of the Senate candidates announcing their candidacies with us. Great to make an announcement on your show. Why announce right now? Well, I think Washington is increasingly struggling to deliver for Americans. Why you? Why are you doing this? Well, why not me? Steve Garvey, are you running for U.S. Senate? Well, it's been the worst kept secret, I think. <laughs> what is the big announcement? I am running for U.S. Senate. <laughs> when we come back, during this season of giving, we look back at all the big name stars we've had on our show using their platforms for good. Stay with us. You're watching The Issue Is. As we look back on 2023 on The Issue Is, we especially enjoyed stories like this one, where we could take a break from the political back and forth and talk to big name stars using their platforms for good, including George Clooney. We know this works. Actor George Clooney tours the L.A. school he co-founded, which trains students to work on film sets. They feel sometimes for the first time that... Uh, that they have value. They feel seen. Yeah, sure. And, and, and not only feel seen, but seen by one of the top actors huge in the world. Star. A huge, huge star. I mean, the, come on. The, the, I mean, the biggest star in the world. That's what I try to tell people. Yeah. I told Tom Cruise that the I other was, day. I was going to say, that's what we said to him last week. <laughs> no, no, just kidding. <laughs> that to you represents freedom, right? It does. Rock star Sammy Hagar shows us his first ever beach club, which raises funds for local charities. After relying on food banks as a kid, Hagar now donates to hundreds of food banks around the country. I recommend more artists do that. There, yeah. There's something I'll look at the camera and say, yeah. 
You guys need to do that. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Magic Johnson delivers holiday hope to underserved communities that he's invested millions to lift up. It's been important for me to get back, touch other people, because somebody helped me to become Master Johnson. Mm -hmm. I didn't do this by myself. Come on up, guys. Come on up. The foundation, co-founded by Dodger legend Clayton Kershaw and his wife Ellen, donates backpacks to local kids and builds homes in Africa. Ultimately, baseball is a pretty great platform to be able to do some great things. What do you think is the biggest lesson everybody can learn from Kershaw's challenge? Everybody has been given a God-given passion, talent, purpose, and it's all about figuring out how to use that. It's about the future of our kids. We host a fundraiser for Juju Smith-Schuster's Foundation, which funds free football camps for local kids. As a kid, Juju himself couldn't afford camp. There's no materialistic thing in the world that makes me more happy than to get joy from kids because I was once in her shoes. So I know what it feels like. They teach me to dance during this luau style party, but clearly Juju is the expert. You can listen to extended conversations with all of those guests anytime by searching for The Issue Is wherever you stream your podcasts. We'll wrap things up for the year with my favorite interview of all after this. It's been five years since we launched our show. You were there on week one. It goes fast. Congratulations. Thanks so much for being on The Issue Is. Hey, it's a great program. I love to be on it. It's been great. It's uh, been a great show. Thank yeah. you. And we hope you'll come visit us. I love us. your clips. <laughs> wow. I don't think I've ever gotten that question before. You've become the brand name in California now. So every California congressperson has to pay uh, a visit. Oh, I'm glad that we have people like you because you, you are objective and fair. And <laughs> you realize that over the next 10 years, if you aren't already, you'll be way more significant than me. Thanks so much, guys. Great to see you. Got to tell you, that guy is one of the best guys to analyze politics yeah. in the country. Right. Period. Anytime you call, no matter what the issue is, I will be there for you. And I will be there for your station because you're fantastic. All of those incredible guests for being on the show and saying such nice things about us. But of all the guests this year, one person stands out to me personally. Her name is Selena Biniaz Karp, and she was the youngest girl on Schindler's List. She's now in her 90s. We talked with her at the Auschwitz exhibit at the Reagan Library, and she shared with us the key lesson from her life. You have to forget. You cannot hold grudges. You cannot hate, because it will get you nowhere. I mean, there's some people that'll hear that and say, how do you forgive the Nazis, the worst people in the history of the world? You forgive, but you don't forget. How about that? We can't control what others do to us or say about us, but we can control how we react. Keeping anger or resentment in your heart takes up space that could be used instead for love, especially love of your family. I couldn't be more grateful for my family for making everything I do possible. I am also so grateful for our small but dedicated, creative and kind behind the scenes crew who are key to every episode that you see. So we end this year with images of them and a wish of a very happy new year to you and all those you love. See you in 2024 for a wild election year ahead.